Hello fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I just have the intro to what will probably be a long video. Um, well, let me explain. Here I have a bunch of different waxes and so what I'm doing is my own personal wax off challenge. And so what I have done is gathered the various things that I have purchased to see, to use as sticky stuff for my diamond painting. And I have decided to get a little more scientific about it and I am going to kind of do a little test to see which ones last the longest. So I've put them in order that I think they're going to last. So we'll see what happens. First though, my intention was to use my pretty placers in this test. However, after thinking about it, I decided that I'm not going to do that simply because this whole thing is wax. So when does it run out? When I get to the end of the crayon, that, I mean, I'm sure these are made to, to last more than one diamond painting, given that it's a whole crayon, just the sheer amount of wax. So because that's the case, I have decided not to include my pretty placers um, in the wax test. I will be, well, if you're interested in the pretty placers, I will put a card up here to link to a video where I unbox these and show you how they work. Um, but I'm not going to include them in this test. So I'm gonna set those aside. So here's what I've decided to include in my test. I'm going to include just a small square. This is my collection of waxes, but I'm just going to include one small square that you would typically get like this in a diamond painting kit and see how long that lasts. Now, the reason I have so much of this is because I don't typically use these anymore. They're thin and they don't last very long and I get irritated at having to refill my pen quite often. I am probably a heavy placer. I don't really know. I don't know anyone else. I've never seen anyone else personally diamond paint. I've seen people on the screen, but I think I'm a heavy placer, so we'll see. Anyway, so this will be the first one that I try. And this is, again, just the standard ones that come with basically a kit. Then I'm going to try the Diamond Art Club Wax, which, if you can see, is quite a bit thicker than what you get in your generic standard kits. So I'm going to try using this last and, or using this next and see how long it lasts. And then I am going to try my patty wax that I got from them um, and see how long this lasts. I have only used this in a test so far. I haven't actually used this on a diamond painting. So I'm curious to see how long it actually lasts. So that will be my next one. Then I'm going to try my museum putty. I have tried this uh, with a couple of other diamond paintings and it works okay. For me, this one seems to be pretty temperature dependent. The more you handle it or the warmer it is, the more it leaves residue and sticks to your canvas, which is not what you want. So but it does last a long time. So you just have to be careful when you're loading your pen that you don't overfill it. So that will be next. And then I will test my blue tack. And I've seen some other people test this and say that it lasted like nine plus hours. So we'll see. Um, again, this one is also the same as the museum putty, a little bit temperature dependent. So, but I have used it and I have liked it. So. We'll see how long it lasts. And then finally, I am going to test my glue dots. Now I have used these and I love them. They, along with the blue tack, give me that satisfying pop sound that I love when I'm placing diamonds. Um, I haven't gotten the pop sound so much with this one, but we'll see. Um, but I love this one and I have seen people use it for entire diamond paintings and not have to replace it. Now, smaller diamond paintings, obviously, so we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm guessing that it will last longer than the 
nine hours I think I'm gonna get out of this so we'll see so and these are the mini dots some people think they're a little bit too big and I have had to trim mine a bit to get them to fit in my pen but once I do they last forever so we'll see about that as well so that's what I plan to do for my little wax off is my standard wax my diamond art club wax my patty wax the museum putty the blue tack and the glue dots so that's what I'm going to be testing now I will be including some scenes from the, the tests in the video the final video however if it truly lasts nine plus hours some of these there's no way that I'm going to be able to include the entire thing I mean who would watch it no one's gonna watch me place diamonds for nine plus hours right so my intention is to take uh, one of my diamond art club canvases and it's one that I just recently unboxed and I am going to be using my princess Mononoke one and this is what I'm going to use for my test this should take me hopefully enough hours that I will get through all of the things that I intend to test before I run out of diamond painting. So, and if I do, I'll just move on to something else, but that's the plan anyway. Um, I think my, my 30 by 40s generally take me between eight and 12 hours. So this is about twice that size. So if it takes around 24 hours, I'm hoping I can fit all of these in here. We'll see. The glue dots may last quite a bit longer than I think, but again, that's what this test is for. So there's the plan. Stay tuned and see what happens. So I started off with the generic pink wax that you get with most kits that is standard. And here you can see I am using the pink wax. You can see it there in the background, the little square of pink wax to work on this kit. So when I decided to start doing this test, my criteria is once I start having to click the pin one, two, three more times to pick up a diamond, then I'm going to consider that the end of the test. So I continued on with the pink wax to see how far I could get. So here you can see I am reaching the end of the pink wax. I am having to push the pin two or three or four times to pick up a single diamond, which to me is a signal that I need to refill my pin with wax. So I made it three hours and 39 minutes with the generic pink wax that you get um, that comes standard with most kits. More than I was expecting to, so that was a nice surprise. Next up is the wax from Diamond Art Club. You can see here I've loaded the pin with the Diamond Art Club wax and I will be continuing on working on the kit using this wax. Here you can see that I am coming to the end of the DAC wax. Um, I am having to click the pin two or three or more times to pick up a diamond. So um, I decided to call an end to the DAC wax and I got five hours and 37 minutes out of it, which was amazing. Next up, patty wax. So here you can see me loading the patty wax, and I will confess I've never really used patty wax before. This is the first time I purchased it. I did manage to get it loaded in the pin and then start working with it. However, it lasted way less time than I thought it would, and here you can see I'm trying to pick up anything with it. I'm trying to finish off this one last color and I'm having difficulty picking up anything with the patty wax, even though there is still wax or putty or whatever in the pen. It just is not working to pick up for me. And I ended up only getting an hour and 36 minutes out of the patty wax, 
which could be my fault. As I said, I've never used it before, so maybe I didn't load it properly or something, but that's what I got. Next up is the Museum Putty. This one is a little temperature sensitive and it's a little kind of fiddly to load. You pull off a little piece and then you kind of have to finesse it down into the bottom of the, or the barrel of the pen. So it's a lot of pushing and shoving with your fingers and all while trying not to overwork it because if it gets too hot, it gets kind of sticky and will leave pieces everywhere, residue everywhere. So I use my tweezers to shove it down in the pin a little bit so that I can get it started. I was curious to see how this one would do as compared to the blue tack. I'd never used the museum putty really before except in a very brief test and I had used the blue tack so I was curious to see how much time I was going to get out of the museum putty. Um, this is like I said another putty like the blue tack that is used to attach things uh, but it is a little bit temperature sensitive, so I was curious to see how long it would last. And here is the end of the museum putty. Um, I don't know if particular colors were difficult for, I don't know if that has something to do with it, but the, the black and another dark brown were very hard for me to pick up, even when there was wax or putty left in the end of the pen. So I don't know if that had something to do with it. I did keep the pin constant the whole way through the test so that that variable was the same. It's the same pin for all of the waxes and putties that I tried. So you can see there still is museum putty, but it's not working. So I am going to declare that the end, and I got five hours and 59 minutes out of the museum putty. Okay guys, just a quick check in on my progress with the wax on wax off contest. Um, so I kind of wanted to show you just a little progress pick um, cause I suddenly realized I hadn't really been doing that. Um, a little check in. So I had this canvas divided into about nine sections. There were, um, this row was, I had turned the, the papers, the release papers long ways. So there was about four of them and then this row was, was horizontal all the way across. I started down here in this corner and worked my way this way. So I got to probably about here. So this, this section here was done with the original dot of my, um, just one dot of the pink wax. And then from there to about here, is where I got with the one little dot of the Diamond Art Club wax. And then after that, I filled up with the just one scrape of the patty wax. And I got from here to about halfway. I didn't even finish this section with the patty wax. I think I am going to go back and give it another try. I've not really used the patty wax before, so I don't know if I just didn't get very much out of it because I didn't have experience filling the pin or if that's truly just how much it is, so we'll see. Um, after the patty wax, I switched over to the um, museum putty. And so that's still what's loaded in the pin. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. It's kind of sunken down a little bit now. Um, I did have it filled up full, but it's still going. So um, I finished up this little section here and pretty much from here on, I have done with the um, museum wax and I still have the blue tack and the glue dots to do. So I might actually run out of canvas <laughs> and finish this painting before I finish the glue test, which is okay because I will just kit up another one or if I have another one going already, then I will just start working on that. But it may not be this particular canvas since I'm getting close to being done. And because I still have two left and I'm fairly certain I could probably do what's left just with the glue dots, I'm gonna bet I'm gonna have to move this over onto another canvas. However, again, that's cool. So. Just to check in to let you know where I'm at so far with the wax 
competition, shall we say. So I will check back in um, again, probably after the blue tack, we'll see if the blue tack and the rest of this putty get me all the way to the end. If not, I may check in before that, but we'll see. So just a little check in so you know what's going on. Next up is the blue tack. So this is like the museum putty in that you pull off a little piece and you have to load it in the pen. It gets gummy with too much handling, so I try to handle it as little as possible while loading it in my pen, but it does require me kind of finagling it, pushing it in with my tweezers, and, and to keep doing that until the pen is full. Um, again, this, like the museum putty, is temperature sensitive, so I try not to handle it too much while I'm loading the pen, and then when I'm done with whatever pieces are left over, I put them back and I just let them set and I try to keep it in a cool, dry place so that it is not overly warm and gummy when I'm working with it. Because if it is hot when you're working with it, like I said, it can be gummy and then it leaves little pieces of residue on your canvas, which especially with board glue can be somewhat difficult to get off. Um, so, but it lasts for a really long time, and I had used it before, um, unlike the museum putty, so I was curious to see how many hours I would be able to get out of the blue tack and whether or not I would be able to finish up the entire canvas that I had been working on. So, um, again, taking my tweezers to kind of push it in there and then get on with the blue tack and then uh, get to work and see how many hours of time I could get out of the blue tack. So stay tuned and we'll see. The blue tack ended up lasting for quite a while. As you can see, as I've gotten to the end of the blue tack, um, I finished the previous canvas and so had to move on to a new project. This one was rounds rather than squares, but I figured that was okay because that gave another dimension to the test to see if any of these kind of maybe reacted differently um, to rounds and squares. It didn't really appear that they did to me. Um, I got quite a few more hours out of the blue tack than out of the museum putty. So, but everything eventually ends and you can see here I was having kind of difficulties um, picking up some of the diamonds and getting them to stick to the end of the pin, which like I said, when it gets to be where I've got to pick up, bounce with the pin more than three or four times to pick up a single diamond, that's the end of it. That becomes frustrating for me and I will reload my pin. That may not be the same for everyone, but that's how I do it. So that's where I called an end to it. I got eight hours and 30 minutes out of the blue tack, which I thought was amazing. So that's about two and a half more hours than I got out of the museum putty. Um, so all that's left at this point is to move on to uh, the glue dot and see how many hours I can get out of the blue dot. So stay tuned. Here is me loading the glue dot into the pen. You peel off the glue dot and then I use the tip of the pen to kind of scrape the glue dot off of the paper. And then I use my tweezers to kind of push the glue dot down into the barrel of the pen. These are the mini dots, not the micro dots. They are perhaps a little bit big because I do usually end up cutting off a little bit that overhangs the end of my pen to use these. However, I think the micro dots are too small. So I have stuck with the mini. And you can see here, it can be an adventure kind of loading these in your pen. It does kind of help if you use your finger to kind of hold the glue dot in place. Um, the oils from your finger get on it a little bit, but that actually helps you to load it in your pen uh, and doesn't affect the stickiness at all. 
So, um, like I said, I use my tweezers to kind of shove it down into the barrel of the pen. And, you know, you do this gently. I'm not damaging the barrel of the pen. I'm not, you know, shoving it in there with super strength or anything. I'm just trying to get it to go down there as far as I can. And then if there's excess hanging off, as you see here, I cut it off. I will say for this one, I perhaps cut off too much. I didn't spend enough time trying to get more of it kind of shoved down into the barrel of the pen. Um, but I still managed to get enough in there that um, it was loaded nicely. Try not to have anything overhanging so that when you're picking up diamonds, you're not picking up more than one at a time. Since I was single placing everything to try and keep this fair, I did not use a multi-placer. These are all single place diamonds. And now I'm ready to see how many hours I get. Here is the end of the glue dot. And as you can see, I've moved on to a third project because I completed two. I managed to get 10 hours and seven minutes out of the glue dot. So it lasted by far the longest. Stay tuned and I will go over the results of the wax test. Here you can see me trying out another wax that I thought I would add to the test, but I ended up not doing it. This is ortho wax, and I had heard from a friend that it was good. However, for me, even though it loaded up nicely, it left way too much residue everywhere, and so I ended up deciding not to incorporate it into the test. And you can see here um, on a couple of these purple dots, there is so much residue left over that I'm having to kind of wipe it off with my hands, so I decided not to include it. I also did do another test with the patty wax. However, I got even less time out of the patty wax the second time, and so I finally just decided to call it quits. So that is the end of the wax test. I ended up with patty wax coming in last with one hour and 36 minutes. The standard pink wax coming in next with three hours and 39 minutes. The diamond art club wax with five hours and 37 minutes. The museum putty with five hours and 59 minutes. The blue tack at eight hours and 30 minutes. And the glue dot was the clear winner at 10 hours and seven minutes. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to do all the things. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.